Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL Series Episode 88. This is Part 1 in Drawing Some Text. We're going to be using HTML as an overlay above everything else. So you can see here in our HTML we have a second div. It's just going to have an ID and class overlay. In our styles, we're going to go ahead and set the container position to relative. You can see we have a container surrounding the canvas as well as the overlay. And then the overlay within it is going to have an absolute position. It's going to have a little bit of spacing to the left and above, a little bit of padding within it, a border, and a color of white. And what we're going to do, and we're going to have this update overlay function called, it's going to take the state overlay in our HTML. This is just the canvas object um, given to it. So if we wanted to look for state.overlay, you can see that we just have that overlay object. And we're going to go ahead and say I position and then just draw out what the I positions are. We're going to use two fixed two because of imprecision within JavaScript. Otherwise, you'd open up really, really, really long values for these, even when we're only rotating um, by the key press speed, which is 0 0.02, I believe, for each space. So what this looks up like is we have this little I position up here. You can highlight it and everything because it is regular HTML. As we rotate the I position, you can see it ends up moving around and updating it properly. So um, that's it for this episode, which is nice and short, uh, nice and easy to do, and it's a kind of a nice way to do an overlay. And um, that's it for this episode. So if you like what you saw, go ahead and share, share this on social media. Give me a like and subscribe on YouTube. It'll help me a lot. Go to programmingtil.com and sign up for my newsletter, and check me out on social media as well. Thank you. Have a good one.